Okay, so I think you, okay, so I think you understand the more circle properly. Earlier portion I just explained you how to solve the more circle, and if you convert that more circle into that element diagram, then how it represents the principal plane and shear plane. So I just want to solve the next two questions. The most important part of this thing, we have to find out the x coordinate and y coordinate according to the sign conventions. Sign convention for the sigma is tensile positive and compressive is the negative value of sigma. Tau convention is always we have to check the directions for x, y. x, y means along the x plane. x plane means perpendicular to the x axis. So this plane, if the directions of this and this is rotating the element in anticlockwise directions, then tau xy is called the positive. But if this arrow is a downward, then this one is coming the upward. Then it will rotate in clockwise directions. Then this tau xy is coming the negative value. Once you decide the direction of tau xy, the tau y x is default the opposite of the xy directions. It should be equilibrium the element. All right. So we have to go to the next problem now. So just see the next problem. This is again the same element I have drawn it. The sigma x is again given along x axis is plus 50 y plus it is tensile. Then, then here just checked it here. The sigma y is now negative 15 Newton per second. Y negative as it will be compressive type of that stresses is applied on this. All right. So that's the difference between the first problem and the second problem. Again, tau xy is rotating in x plane is anticlockwise direction. So plus 20. Default this tau yx is coming negative 20. What are the next step? Quickly, I proceed the next one. I know I have already explained you in detailing. So the next step is first. Can you please tell me to find out the x coordinate and y coordinate? So before that, they ask you the again same three questions: principal stresses and its orientation, maximum shear stress and its orientation, normal tangential stresses on a plane at an angle 25 degree now with the plane of sigma x. With the plane of sigma x means I think the sigma x plane is the vertical plane. So with this vertical plane, we have to draw one plane which is making 25 degree angle with the vertical plane. So this angle to be 25 degree and we have to find out the value of the sigma n and sigma t at that angle. So again, first coordinate, x coordinate. Can you please tell me what is the x coordinate? I think you can solve this problem with this videos also. So x coordinate is the sigma x. I'm suggesting you just try to draw it first in, in rough diagram and then you plot it in the graph paper only. The x coordinate is the sigma x. Sigma x is in my diagram is concerned. It is positive value as it is in tensile. Tau xy is also positive. So plus 50 plus 20. What is that sigma y? Okay, y coordinate. Y coordinate is default the sigma y and tau yx. But the sigma y here is coming the negative 15 and tau yx is also negative 20. So we are getting now coordinate. So quickly I just draw it. So first I have to draw the x axis and y axis in this cases. So I think this is the x and y axis. Origin point is called the O point. I think all of you can remind the direction of x, uh, sigma and tau along the x axis. Right side is positive sigma. Left is negative uh, sigma. I think here you have to remember this thing opposite of the normal convention. Upward is a negative tau and downward is a positive tau. Okay, so in this problem, as it is in very small dimensions is given, stresses is given, I am taking the 1 centimeter is equal to 5 Newton per mm square. Okay, so first I want to plot that y point that is called the y coordinate. Y coordinate is minus 15 and minus 20. So before plotting, can you please suggest me where to plot this y coordinate in the which side it will be coming y coordinate. This is the origin point as the sigma y is negative. So I think it will come in the left hand side and tau y x is also coming a negative. So tau y x is negative means negative tau is actually representing in the upward direction. So I think the point y is coming in this coordinate in the second coordinate system. Just checked it here. This is the sign conventions. So this one is coming 3 centimeter. Y sigma y is 3 centimeter as it is sigma y is given 15 and my skill is then 1 centimeter equal to 5 Newton per mm square. So 15 divided by 5 is a 3 centimeter on the negative side from the 
oh so this y is the sigma y then tau y x is the 20 so 20 divided by 5 is a 4 centimeter but that's also negative so that's why it is coming on the upper side so i got this point <coughs> this is the y point from y you can draw a vertical line to mark the b point remember the notations b point is always below the y okay similarly i have to plot the x so it is given positive uh, 10 as it is given 50 so 50 divided by 5 is the 10 centimeter but the positive value so on the right hand side similarly this one is also positive so positive tau means opposite so it will be in the downward direction so can you check it this is again tau xy this is my x point and if you draw a vertical line from this i am getting the a point so a and b x and y i am getting what is the next rule join x y exactly correct join x y then what is the next find out the center what is the center the junction between that x y line and the x axis is the center c from this center c what is the radius of the Mohr circle the radius of the Mohr circle is equal to c x or c y so with this c x radius i have to draw a circle all right okay so i think my given data is completed now okay in this given data o a is called sigma x a x is called tau x y o b is called sigma y b y is called the tau y x am i right okay so now we have to find out the first one the principal stresses and its orientation so can you remind this so where this circle cuts the x axis that point is called the p1 p1 is called the major plane so you just checked it that which distance is more i think this distance is greater than this distance so that's why i marked this point as in p1 so i am getting sigma 1 o2 p1 similarly in the other point on the circle is called the p2 point and o2 p2 is called the sigma 2 so sigma 1 sigma 2 is called the major and minor principal stresses orientations you have to find out so just tell me what is that orientations now always remember one thing the cx is called my x plane or x directions okay whatever angle you want to measure it it is with the cx only and also remind the sign convention anti-clockwise measurement is called the positive angle clockwise measurement is called the negative angle so put the protector in this line okay matching with the c point as in zero degree angle and x c p1 again remember remind the notation x c p1 is my 2 theta n1 as in the Mohr circle whatever angle is measured with respect to c is a double angle in the Mohr circle so this angle is called the 2 theta n1 so just check it this is 2 theta n1 positive or negative to find out the maximum shear stresses i think we have to mark the c1 where s1 s1 is to be marked we coordinate where the x point is there so i think again it will be fourth coordinate so c s1 is called my tau max so i think this is the tau max then to find out the orientations you have to measure the x c s1 so that is in clockwise direction that's why it's coming the negative 2 theta s1 okay so this way you can find out the value of the sigma 1 sigma 2 tau max 1 2 theta n1 and 2 theta s1 right now they are given that angle 25 degree 25 degree with what the x plane so i think this is the x plane so 25 into 2 so it will be 5 it's not a 500 it's a 50 degree angle 25 into 2 is the 50 degree angle with this one so i have to draw a angle with cx line with the 50 degree angle 25 into 2 so 50 degree angle so i've drawn here 50 degree angle mark that point is an n draw a vertical line from n where it cut x axis mark that point is an m then join o n line o n line to find out the resultant one then nm is called the sigma t then om is called the sigma sigma r value so this is my resultant value in this case is okay now uh, uh, again i just want to plot the obliquity angle also so obliquity angle is basically m o n that is called the obliquity angle okay so nomenclature again remind sigma 1 is equal to o p1 sigma 2 is equal to o p2 then sigma n1 is the x c p1 divided by 2 15.8 degree and tau max is equal to c s1 uh, similarly theta s1 is equal to x c s1 okay sigma n is the om sigma t is the nm sigma r is the om okay and obliquity angle is the m o n so these are all final value here you can see the sigma 2 
is coming negative 4.1 why negative just checked it it will be on the left hand side of that o so left hand side of the o is minus sigma so whatever getting whatever value we are getting the sigma 2 that is minus 4.1 multiplied by 5 so it will come in minus 20.5 similarly theta n1 is an anti clockwise so positive tau max is on the downward 38 or it will be upward also plus minus 38 theta s1 is also 29.2 degree sigma n is positive sigma n is positive at it is in the right hand side of this one but sigma t is upward okay so that's why it is coming that value of nm is coming minus 2.4 multiplied by 5 so it will coming 12 am i right okay so i have to go to the next problem okay next problem also to understand this more circle properly so if you see the next one what is the next one what is the difference can you remind can you can you find out the difference i think in the first problem i had given both are tensile in the second problem i had given the sigma y is in compressive now it will be sigma x is compressive so just see the value it will be minus y minus as it is in compressive then this is positive 33 tau xy is also positive 20 tau y x is a minus 20 so what is the next x coordinate what is the next coordinate sigma x tau xy minus 100 plus 20 y coordinate sigma y tau y x plus 33 minus 20 draw this axis sigma positive negative minus this is plus so i just roll on this uh, you understand that process scale i am taking one centimeter equal to 10 newton per m square so what is the next step we have to plot y point first so y is coming positive 33 and minus 20 so positive and minus okay uh, scale is 10 newton per m square one centimeter equal to so i am getting y point similarly x x is coming on the negative side so minus 100 so it will be 100 by 10 is equal to 10 centimeter on the negative side but here it will be positive so that's why it's a downward so i got the x point i got that a point also okay now next i think you can remind you can remember this x y to be joined where it cut the x axis that is the center c which center radius c x draw a more circle now just check the which distance is a more distance so if you see here the o to p is the lesser distance and o to this point okay is that a larger distance so this point should be taken as in p1 and this point to be taken as in p2 distance okay so uh, the principal major plane we have to just find out with this only so uh, this point we marked as in p1 so p1 and then this op1 is called the sigma 1 this is p2 then op2 is called the sigma 2 okay then if you want to find out that principal plane i think it will be uh, a, a, which angle we have to measure it okay so where is your x plane cx is called the x plane and cp1 is called the major principal plane so angle measured from x cp1 is called the 2 theta 1 angle now keep the protector here and angle is to be measured now in clockwise directions if it is in clockwise direction then this angle is called the negative value that's why it's coming to minus of 2 theta n1 value okay so you are getting the sigma 1 sigma 2 major minor as well as the theta 1 1 value now we have to find out the maximum shear so where the shear s1 to be marked x is in third quadrant so i think this point should be marked as an s1 this point should be marked as s2 so just checked it s1 and s2 then this is called the tau max and which angle i have to measure it i think you know the name notation that's why very important x c s1 and that is to be measured in anti-clockwise direction so here the 2 theta s1 is coming the positive value so that is called the 2 theta s1 value then i have to measure the 50 degree angle they ask you to find out that angle at 25 degree again okay find out sigma n and sigma 2 25 degree is positive what do you mean by the positive you have to measure it with the xc positive direction means from xc it will be anti-clockwise so this thing is a very confusing thing i think i i had explained you properly the anti-clockwise from the here means you have to keep the protector on this you have to keep the protector on this and anti-clockwise you have to measure with the 50 degree 50 degree 25 into 2 so 50 degree angle they had given that uh, find out that sigma and sigma t at 25 degree angle with the x plane so 50 degree i have to draw it here once you draw this line it will be very easy then then you have to mark the n then you have to mark that draw vertical line to mark the m then o n then nm is called the sigma t sigma t is coming on the downward direction so it is coming positive now earlier two problems sigma t is coming negative so here it will be positive one then o m is coming negative one here as it is in left hand side of that o so 
so sigma n then o n is called the sigma r and this angle is called that phi angle which is the obliquity angle so again the same this is the notation again you checked it so sigma 1 is equal to op1 op1 negative value minus 10.3 multiply by 10 so i think you can get that value here again sigma 2 is the op2 sigma 2 is the op2 so sigma 2 is the op2 positive direction is 3.6 theta n1 here it is coming the negative value so xcp1 divided by 2 is a minus 9 so just use the analytical formula to find out the value of the theta 1 you are getting the negative value also okay similarly tau max is positive but the theta s1 is coming in this cases it is not in negative it's a wrong i think it will be positive 29.2 degree only as it is in measured in the anticlockwise so, so please correct it sorry for this please correct it it's not in negative 29 it's a positive 29 point two degree only okay similarly you can find the other angle also so these are all after multiplying with that value okay thank you very much i think you can solve some of the problem kindly give that uh, your comments to improve or uh, uh, to uh, share more and more videos of related to that some uh, strength of material subject thank you very much